What is up, Soul Hills kids? 456 All Stars and anyone else out there in the world who is watching. We are going from start to finish all the way through the Bible. And you may be like, what? That's crazy. It is a little bit crazy. And it's going to be so much fun. And this isn't a one month series or two month series or a year long series. This is going to be four years of us going through the Bible. So you guys in All Stars, you're going to come all the way up and get to see all of it play out and it's going to be super duper amazing now we're going to have different sections and different things that we can learn about ourselves and god each and every week and so i am super excited today we're starting in the very beginning with genesis that's right we are starting from the start and we're going all the way through and i am super duper excited about that so we're going through genesis and we're going to dive into it today. Now, normally we'd have a game, a video that pulls up, but today I want you guys to interact with our story. I want you guys to feel the story per se. So I want you to pause the video after I explain the rules and get with somebody in your family, a parent or a sibling, and let's dive into today's game. So today I want you to get something that you can mold, right? Play-Doh, um, clay, or maybe slime, some moldable slime or something that you have, kinetic sand even, stuff like that, and take time pause the video and see who can create the coolest thing, right? Who can look around and it has to be within your house. So maybe you've got a pet, maybe you've got a, a couch or your room, but who can recreate the coolest thing around them today? So pause the video here and after that, we're gonna jump into today's Bible story. You're gonna watch a video and then we're gonna recap it after that. So let's dive into that. I'll see you guys there. In the beginning, nothing existed except for God. God created the heavens and the earth. The earth had no shape and darkness covered the earth. The Spirit of God was there, hovering over the waters. God spoke, let there be light. What God said happened. God saw that the light was good and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and he called the darkness night. Evening came and then morning came. That was the first day. God spoke again. Let there be a space between the waters to separate them. What God said happened. He made a space between the water that was on the earth and the water above the earth. God called the space sky. Evening came and then morning came. That was the second day. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place and let the dry land appear. What God said happened. God called the dry land earth and he called the gathered water seas. God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth make plants and trees with fruits and seeds. What God said happened. Plants and trees grew according to their kinds and God saw that it was good. Evening came and then morning came. That was the third day. Next, God placed lights in the sky. God created the sun to shine during the day and the moon and stars to shine at night. God gave us lights to shine on the earth to separate day from night and to help us track time in days and years. God saw that it was good. Evening came and then morning came. That was the fourth day. Next, God made creatures that move and swim in the water. He made birds to flap their wings and soar across the sky. God saw that it was good. God told the animals to multiply and they filled the seas and the sky. Evening came and then morning came. That was the fifth day. Then God made more animals, livestock, creatures that crawl in wildlife to live on the earth according to their kinds. When God said it, it happened and God saw that all of it was good. Jesus is Lord over all of creation. The sun has always existed. The Bible says everything was created by him and for him, and he holds everything together. All of creation exists to bring God glory.
All right, guys, coming out of that story, isn't creation amazing? Isn't it so cool how God took nothing and created all that we see? We see him say, let there be light. And there was light in verse 3. In verse 6, he says, let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of heaven from the waters of earth. He makes the sky and the earth. Uh, he, ma he makes the water and the ground. He plants trees. He makes the sun and the moon. He lets the waters swarm with fish, right? And then he produces animals. He produces birds. And ultimately, he creates us. Now, some cool things I want to point out, guys. Did you notice that the first thing God created was light, right? But you know what he didn't create until number four? The sun and the moon. That means God himself created light without the need for the sun, without the need for the moon. God himself was light. And he shone it across the earth before the sun and the moon. And we see that God created a lot of good things. Now, when we read through this, we see that uh, God said, let there be water. Um, he said, uh, let the water swarm with fish and other life. The skies be filled with birds. Um, he produces animals, and, and the animals produce offspring, and he makes trees that are good, but there's something special. When God creates humans, he says this, so God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them male and female. He created them. That's right. God took time, and he made us different. He made us in his image. Now, that doesn't mean that we look just like God. God isn't quite a physical person like us. He is a spirit with us. But he created us with the ability to, um, to have emotions like he has, to think like he has, to um, create like he does. No other animal creates, right? No other animal makes things like we do. No other animal invents and discovers and grows, right? Because we are in God's image and we are called to create. Now, I want you guys to think back to your exercise you did with the Play-Doh or whatever. You created something. You created whatever it was. You created it. Now, here's the question. Did you create the thing that you created the thing with? I know that's confusing for you guys, but you had something already. You had the Play-Doh or the slime or the clay, and you molded it into something. When we think about creation, God molded it out of nothing. There was nothing for him to look at, no chair or pet or house to model after. God created it all 100% on his own which is so hard to imagine. He created everything without any rules, any instructions, any walkthroughs, no YouTube videos on how to do it or what he should do. He created it all because he is that powerful. And last but not least, he created us to walk with him, right? See, God looked over everything he had made and he saw it was very good. And we were part of that. You see, later on, God even walks with Adam and Eve in the cool of the evening. God wants a relationship with us. And so every story we tell, we want to show you why it is important to us and why it matters for us, especially pointing towards Jesus. So when we read the story of creation, what does the story of creation tell us about Jesus? Well, it tells us that from the very beginning of creation, God made us unique, and God wanted a relationship with us. So when Jesus died on that cross for us, Jesus died, looking back all the way to the beginning to Adam and Eve, thinking about the relationship that he wants with us. So today, with Jesus and his death on the cross, we can have that full relationship that they had in the beginning of creation, which is great news. So never forget that, guys. Now, next week and the next few weeks, we'll kind of look at some of the things maybe we messed up on and some of the sin and the separation that we have now. But remember from all of this,
that God loves you and he wants a relationship with you. We've got a cool new video coming up. It's going to be questions from kids. It's going to be questions that kids ask that we help answer. And then I'll see you guys after that. Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for questions from kids. Hunter from Park City, Utah asks, If God made us, who made God? Oh, Hunter, that is a fabulous question. And frankly, maybe more adults should reflect upon and ask that question too. You see, Hunter, God is eternal and he's omnipotent and he is sovereign and holy. Now, those are pretty big words, but what those words tell us is that God is, is set apart and God is not created, but he created all things through Jesus Christ, who is his son. We see this in Romans chapter one, Hunter, and also in, in John chapter one. And see, the right response for us being created beings is that we should worship and honor and adore and show reverence to him. Here's some question. What is your favorite part of creation? What does that created thing reveal about the creator? was super cool and those are questions that even us adults ask sometimes so don't forget to ask questions questions are great so ask those questions learn things and remember that Jesus Christ the God who died for you and was raised again on the third day wants a relationship with you how crazy is that. You guys don't forget that. I hope you have a great day, a great week, and I can't wait to see you guys next week as we dive into number two of our new series. I will see you guys there. Bye.